At the 2012 Summer Olympic Games in London, Canada came home with only one gold medal, hanging around the neck of trampolinist Rosie McLennan. But up until a few months before the Games, Rosie thought the best she could hope for was fourth place. I knew that my goal was to be on the podium, but I also looked at the two Chinese athletes and Karen, and that's three. There's only three spots on the podium. So I really started doubting myself and losing confidence and losing, not motivation, but I guess in a way, this, that inspiration. I was defeating myself before I even gave myself a chance. She said, I'm worrying about outcomes instead of just do, do everything I can to be as good as I can. I sat on the bike and I was really mad at myself. I was furious because I knew what I wanted. I knew at some level I was capable, but I wasn't giving myself a chance. Probably three, four months out, there was no indication that she was going to be great. And apparently she had a sort of epiphany. She realized that she was about ranked fourth. And if she does her best, she could come fourth. And nobody would remember her, right, sort of thing, right? Because nobody remembers who came fourth except the person who came fourth, right? So that was one of her fears. And, and you know, so what? You know, just do your best and see what happens. I went back to my trainer at the next practice or the next training session and it's like maybe I'm not the best in the world right now but I'm going to do everything in my power to get there. And I think that mentality really clicked. I kind of consider her as like the little engine that said I think I can, I think I can. And she just never stopped. So like it was there, the desire to get better was there from the day one. I remember feeling like going into the final, I was fourth. I mean, even though we all start from zero, being fourth really gave me the sense that I had nothing to lose. When I got up on the trampoline, it just, the routine really flowed. And I just remember that rhythm and really being in that moment. It's like an eternity before the score comes up and so we're chatting about it. Uh, and then when the score came up, I mean, I swore on TV. <laughs> but uh, it was really exciting. And then the score came up, and it was like she scored more than anybody's ever scored in the history of the sport. Once you give yourself the freedom, not to fail, but give yourself the freedom to accept that anything's possible, it also gives you the freedom to excel. I think being flag bearer is obviously a huge honor. It's something that I would definitely be really excited about, but uh, not holding my breath. We have uh, an amazing uh, flag bearer to lead the, the uh, parade of athletes uh, into the Olympic Stadium in Rio. Je veux vous présenter Rosie McLennan.